Hello my little Leos, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. If you've never been here before, please like, share, and subscribe. Join my strange little coven, I would love to have you. Um, if you guys want a personal reading, info's in the description box below. If you would like to see this deck that I'm using today, unbox. Oh, it's my favorite card in here, this death card. If you would like to see it <clears throat> unboxed in its entirety, it is the very first tarot deck I ever bought myself, I ever owned. It's what I learned to read tarot on many, many moons ago, probably before some of you little Leos were born. <laughs> I got it in Sedona, Arizona. I unboxed the whole thing on my new channel. Link will be in the box below for that too, where I just talk about weird witchy stuff and astrology and other cool things over there. So come join that little club. There's not even a thousand of you yet, so I'm getting on the ground floor there. Um, doing a little general energy check-in for you guys today. See what's popping off. What the 1212 energy portal unlocked for you guys. I don't even know what the fuck the 1212 energy portal is, but it sounded like a great idea for a reading. I'll pull a Celtic and see what shows up in the middle of your portal. Leo. Wasn't there a Lionsgate portal during Leo season? Let's see what's going on with you guys, Leo. It's a general energy surrounding my Leos today. God, y'all had the craziest freak history. <laughs> y'all had that crazy street cat read. <laughs> The cops showed up in the middle of everything. That was probably one of the most hysterical reads I've ever done for any any sign ever, Leo. I was like literally in almost in tears laughing at that reading. Oh god. Anyways, Leo, let's take that energy off. Get something different for you guys, because that shit <laughs> not not good. Alright. One more shuffle for Leo. What's going on, Leo? <clears throat> I love Leo energy. We need a devil in reverse. <laughs> it's hard to dance with the devil in your back, so take it off. I don't know why I got that. Florence the Machine. Lovers. Y'all come busting out with the majors. Jesus. Got the devil in reverse with the lovers. Devil's in the details. And somebody's like looking at too many details, trying to make some kind of decision here. Also, the devil and the lovers are the same damn card. Look. Same couple. Angel controlling one, devil controlling the other one. Also, God, I'm obsessed with this artwork. Why do I want this tattoo? Um, <laughs> interesting. Let me pull the rest of these cards here. Five of swords in the reverse. Oh, is this Leo? Ugh, why do I always tap into these dark ass energies? Eight of Pentacles up right here. We're feeding this devil apparently continuously. Ten of Wands in reverse. That is not going to turn out well. World. And you know it needs to be over. Jesus. Hi. Listen to the little voice in the back of your head, Leo. What you don't want to think about, what you don't want to focus on, what you're trying to ignore and stuff down like it's not there is that world card. Not the death card, the world card. Not just a phase, just the whole thing's over, done. We gotta move past this cycle, whatever this is. A lot of you, this is just you've outgrown something. Like, you know it too. You feel chained to this energy. You feel like um, it's run its course, but you don't know how to disconnect from it. You don't know how to make that choice, all right? You also don't wanna work that hard to get out of it, I see with the five of swords in reverse there. It's like you're not wanting to put in a whole lot of effort here. You're thinking that something's just gonna come, come of it. It's gonna, something's gonna move forward. I don't feel like, I feel like you're going to be dropping this burden, whatever this is. I feel like this is something that's been eating at you a long time. It's just like, it's such a major step. All right. I don't know why I'm getting that. A lot of you are breaking out of a shell. It feels like, uh, like that eight of pentacles on your mind. You're thinking greater. You're, you're wanting more. It's like a desire to better yourself. And that takes leaving some old dynamic here that you've been chained to for a very long time. But that's very scary because that energy is very comfortable. It's the devil you know. All right, you don't know what's out there and then, you know, great beyond. All right, what's in your control? Justice in the reverse. You're not doing yourself any favors, though, sitting here and not making this decision. Look, you know, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here with the lovers and the justice card. The Lovers is about making a fucking choice and a life-changing one, and that's crossing you. And because you're stressing it, you're overthinking it, you're allowing, you know, your demons to come haunt you and prevent you from, you know, thinking clearly and advancing this forward. And the, that, what you're doing here, the energy that you have in your control is to reign in justice here. 
to change the wheels direction to call in the karma that you deserve it requires you making this life-changing decision though and detaching from this devil energy which is very hard to do <laughs> there's a reason it's called an addiction with the devil it's because it's hard to fucking quit and it's going to take a lot of effort on your part all right you're gonna have to get into five of swords energy which is like fighting dirty literally you know you gotta go there you gotta go and do anything and everything to get your way with five of swords energy and you're not willing to do that you're not willing to do the hard shit you're not willing to do the dirty work is what i'm getting here but you want the reward you're thinking eight of pentacles you want it all to come to you you want you know more here but you're not willing to you know do the hard labor outside energy chariot in reverse hey we got a lot of majors here hopes and fears of the five of cups yeah the devil you don't know you think it's going to be worse wherever you go or that you're setting yourself up for failure three of pentacles no you're not there is cooperation coming. That's on the bottom of everything. The Queen of Wands, get that fuck moving. Look, you know you deserve better. The Queen of Wands uh, knows her worth. The Queen of Wands does not sit stagnant. The Queen of Wands does not um, become complacent. The Queen of Wands is always wanting a new experience. She's always wanting you know to gain more, to consume. She's a consumer. Fire consumes, consumes oxygen. It consumes land. It burns things to the ground. I mean, that also, you could be just overdoing something here. A lot of you need to slow it the fuck down. Check yourself before you wreck yourself energy. When I see the Queen of Wands, that's somebody pursuing their passion. But when we've got the devil in the middle of everything, it's to no end. Or it's like overdoing it, overindulging in something that's too good. And, you know, feeding your passions too much. To the point where you're not making logical, you know, decisions here. You're showing up with two fives in your reading. One in the recent past and one in your hopes and fears. That shows me right there, all right, that literally what's controlling all of this is trauma from the past. Something did, fuck, you know, happen in the past with Five of Swords energy. Five of Swords energy is ugly as hell. You are engaging in that with someone or about something, or it could be in your own mind with all of this for all I know. Whatever it was, it's ugly energy. And now you're fearing that that's going to happen again. That you're going to be in that energy of you know, doing something ugly that you're going to regret with that Five of Cups and showing up your hopes and your fears. The final outcome is you, you know, putting in effort somewhere. Three of Pentacles. That's about building. That's about, you know, going forward and finding someone to collaborate with to try to, you know, start something solid. It is upright and I like that. I feel like you're starting to realize that feeding this devil is not getting you anywhere. Um... I think you're starting to, you know, gain more clarity on what your passion is. I see this chariot energy in the reverse here, and I immediately thought, like, railroad bill, like, what if its energy is elusive? It, it, you chase it to no end, you can't catch it. Um, you catch glimpses of it, you know, passing by. It's like my son when he's in his Sonic the Hedgehog costume. I just see this little blue blur, like, in the corner of my eyes, and I, like, never catch it all the way. It's kind of like that. You feel like whatever this is, it keeps escaping you. I also feel like you think it's, like, hiding from you, or it's, like, just out of your reach. It also keeps making whatever this energy is, you feel like you can just never win with it. It's like no matter what you do, no matter how hard you try, you just can't win here. And that's not a great place to be, all right? It's not. All right, let's clarify these. And you got the fucking Hierophant after that Queen of Wands there. You don't need to be committed to whatever this shit is. You know that, the devil, you know, you don't want to pay attention to the lessons you've already learned. Why is this devil here? Tell me that. Queen of Cups in the reverse, that's rejection, all right? That's ego. <sighs> You're pursuing this because it hurts, all right? You don't want to be rejected. Leos don't take, you know, no well, especially on the fucking <laughs> part. Like, how dare you? What did you see? I'm a fucking Leo. Look, it, rejection sucks. Mutual feelings not being returned. That's just, like, not, not a good place to be. Also, there's something that you're very much attached to that does not allow you to know your own self-worth here. Queen of Cups loves herself. She's like a mini empress. She's all about practicing self-love. She's the most kind, you know, to herself. You're not kind to yourself. You're hard on yourself. You're like holding yourself to unreasonable expectations. I feel like with that Queen of Wands at the bottom of everything, that's you always striving to be better, to get more, to do, you know, more, and be, be seen, be the prettiest, the smartest, the most, you know, wanted you got to want yourself that way, though, all right? You're not feeling uh, in your power. The Queen of Wands, at the core, she's confident as shit. You know why she's confident? Because she's, you know, comfortable with herself. You know how she gets comfortable with herself? She learns how to love herself as the Queen of Cups. Like, that's who teaches her how to love herself. you got to learn that, all right? So you can exude that confidence. You guys are lacking confidence here. 
a lot of you are that's what the devil is here it's your own you know lack of self you know belief all right some of you don't think you deserve better than whatever this is why is the lovers here why is the lovers here a lot of feminine energy is showing up in your reading today a lot of you are struggling with that femininity a lot of you don't see that you're beautiful or feel beautiful you just don't right now you're just kind of feeling like um out of that you got five of pentacles you feel like if you choose ten of swords when you end something all right when you make the decision to walk away from whatever this is or make this life-changing decision you you have to do it all right the ten of swords is there and the lovers you feel like you're leaving something out or that you're gonna be left with nothing without five of pentacles you feel like either you're gonna have to ghost somebody or you know if you choose to go to this other job it's not gonna work out you're gonna be broke if you you know move here you're not gonna be able to afford it if you leave this person you're gonna be alone forever that's that's your you know a rejection fears here with that devil in the middle of everything talking um that's not true all right you're telling yourself that you're setting yourself up for failure this decision needs to be made also if you don't make this decision i feel like it's going to be taken away from you it's telling me right now that like um the clarifying the lovers is the five of pentacles it's crossing you that this choice has not been made all right and then the bottom of everything is the ten of swords it's like if this choice is not made it, you will it will be taken away the option will be won't be there i feel like you're um shutting down options or limiting your options the longer you sit here all right why is the five of swords here another queen you got three queens now queen of pentacles nine of wands as, as much as whatever this was that you know was so disrespectful with this five of swords here you ended up coming out better for it it shows me that whatever this you know shit show is i hate five of swords energy it's just like people being you know awful purposely awful all right because they're just wanting to die on that hill you know you just get fixated on some point and you don't care how wrong you are it's like the classic dave Chappelle when keeping it real goes wrong all right even when you know you're not right you, you you're gonna stand by your word all right because that's all you have so if you back down from your word and admit that you were wrong then you no longer have that so you're gonna die on that lie that's what this is all right somebody fixated on this with the queen of pentacles but whenever that happened, you got in that energy, the Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, you took the wound, you, right, you took the bullet, you, whatever, you came out the better for it. It made you more grounded. It made you more stable. You went through hell, all right, and it built you up stronger. It's kind of like going to boot camp. Um, why is this Eight of Pentacles here? It did. You're thinking that now. You're starting to realize it. You're starting to realize what the point was to all this. Seven of Pentacles in reverse with the Magician in the reverse. Yeah, you're, re you're realizing why it didn't work out. You're having this like epiphany moment, I feel like coming up some sometime soon, or, or you're just having it now that whatever this was, I understand why was you're thinking to yourself, why the fuck was I fighting so hard to advance this? Like, why was I trying, you know, to make this happen? Why was I trying to manifest this? A lot of you are like disgusted with yourself. You're like, fuck, did I waste all my time on that for? Don't be too hard on yourself. I picked up the very beginning you were being hard on yourself. Don't. Don't do that. Everything is for a reason. Don't be hard on yourself. Ten of Wands in the reverse. What's that about? Near future. What's that about for Leo? Two of Swords in the reverse. You're making a choice. Two of Pentacles in the reverse because you have to. Um, there's some kind of this energy coming up where you're you're forced to drop whatever this is. I feel like it's out of the balls out of your court for some reason. I'm getting that with the Two of Pentacles and the Two of Swords in reverse. It's like one of the options eliminates itself. I felt that. I felt like you were dragging your feet. That's near future, so that hasn't happened yet. That's a double down on that, all right? I'm 100% I'm feeling that. One of these options or some option that you were planning on going towards, I feel like it's going to be eliminated from the, you know, picking. A lot of y'all have to tell you this as your kid, you know, accepting a college offer waiting around for the one that they're wanting they're gonna have one rescinded or something like that so be careful um bird in the hand two of the bush you know what's better nothing or something justice in the reverse what's that about that's a failure to make that decision but why what's more advice with that 
Ace of Pentacles, it's a big decision. That's why, because whatever you're doing, you're committing to it. Ace of Swords in the reverse, and you're still not sure if you want to do that. We got double aces here, though. When you make this decision, it's got to be final. There's no back and forth. There's no turning back is the other thing that I get from this. I think you understand that. It's like once you cross that line, there's no going back over it. A lot of you are uh, wrestling with signing some kind of a contract. You feel like you don't have enough information about it, though. Ace of Swords in reverse. I feel like um, possibly you might be right. I think you might be overthinking it a little bit, too, because I feel like you have been burned in the past. All right, Just get a lawyer to look over it or something if you feel unconfident about it. We do have retrograde coming up soon. So plan on, um, don't sign contracts during that time. Look into that. Why is this um, chariot in the reverse? A lot of you are anxious about signing some kind of a deal and it's not going fast enough with this chariot in the reverse. You're waiting on some kind of news to move you forward and it hasn't been coming for a while, but why? Why is that here? Why is the chariot coming in reverse for the outside? What's that about? Seven of cups with the eight of swords in the reverse. This person can't, or this energy, whatever this is, they're still considering other options. Both of you, like both energies at the table here, both have multiple options about something or they're considering different things. This person's taking their sweet time though, narrowing down theirs. Also, they feel like you have not even considered them as an option. I don't know if that makes any sense to you, Leo. Whatever this is though, no, nope, they're not moving forward because they don't feel like they even have a shot. Like they don't feel like they have a shot in hell, to be honest. Like they don't even think you notice them. They don't feel like you um, pay attention to them or they feel like they've messed things up too bad or that there's too much distance in between you guys, something like that. It's too far apart. If it's long distance, it's not going to work. They also don't just don't see a way. It's confusing to them. They don't see a way to move this forward. They don't understand like how to get this going. They lack, you know, initiative. What's this five of cups about in the hopes and fears? I already know what it is. It's actually from the past. Seven of Wands. Yeah, that's why you're defensive. You don't understand whether or not you need to like stand up for yourself and defend this tooth and nail or and protect yourself. Or if you know you need to be very guarded, if you need to be withdrawn, you don't understand if you should go fight or if you should flee. Um, and that's a fear, all right? And it's a it's a valid one, it's rooted in a real thing that happened, but like you can't carry it forward. This is not that. Don't let this be that. It's not the same thing. Uh, don't judge it that way. You've got justice there, and I'll spew my legal shit because I used to, still am a licensed attorney. Um, judges, they don't carry bias. They don't look at other cases or what's, you know, what I think will happen here. No, you have to look at the facts only. That experience in the past that's making you have this fear of accepting whatever this is or moving forward or making a new decision to go another direction. That is not, you know, that's dragging in illegal evidence. That evidence is not admissible to this decision-making process. So act like it doesn't exist. That's what you have to do. And I know that's easier said than done, but that's what the situation requires. All right? Yeah, Hierophant in reverse. You haven't learned that lesson yet. You can't disconnect. You can't forget the past. You always take the past into consideration. And it's a good thing to learn from your past, but it's not a good thing to allow your past to hold you back out of fear. All right? What's the final outcome here with the Three of Pentacles? You. What are you? Seven of Swords in the reverse. Good. No more manipulating this. Yep. Three of Wands. You're moving. You're making a choice. All right. No longer are you going to sit in this energy and, you know, tell yourself that it's okay here. I can make this work or I can, you know, I can grow where I'm at. Now, I feel like you're in this like tiny little fish pond and you've grown, you know, way big. It's time to rehome you. <laughs> it's time to rehome you, Leo. It is. Um, good news is justice is on your side. You have to be the one to initiate it though. You got to choose what you want here. You got to make the right decision. I also feel like you're overthinking it a lot. Um, don't rely on the opinions of others at this time. I feel like you need to make this decision on your own. I feel like both energies at the table here were very confused with too many options. There was too much to think about. There were too many um, directions where this could go. You need to turn down the noise. All right. Make the decision that's best for you. All right, Leo, that's what I got for you. Love y'all. Bye.